October 7th is the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. But most people don't know why October 7th is the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. So allow me to explain. In the late 16th century, the Ottoman Empire had the largest, greatest, most well-trained, disciplined, and equipped navy in the world, and they set their sights on conquering Rome, and from there, all of Western Europe. The admiral of the Ottoman naval fleet was so sure of victory that he had himself crowned as Emperor of Rome. Pope Pius V set out to organize a naval response of the Christian kingdoms called the Holy League. Unfortunately, England was not interested because, for one, they were Protestant, and they didn't think that it would affect them. France decided to remain neutral, and Spain, due to domestic disputes, was only able to offer a little help. What was formed was a ragtag of smaller kingdoms, though the Spanish king did give his brother Don Juan to be the commander. The Pope called on all of Christendom to pray the rosary for victory against the Ottomans. On October 7th, 1571, the Holy League engaged the Ottoman naval fleet. The Holy League was made up mainly of farmers and regular men who were not well-trained in battle, as opposed to the battle-hardened and well-trained Ottoman soldiers. Also, the Ottoman Empire greatly outnumbered the Holy League in the number of ships. The Holy League displayed an image of Our Lady of Guadalupe, which had been touched to the original image and formed the ships in the shape of a cross. The Ottoman fleet formed a crescent moon, and the battle began. Within four hours, the Ottoman fleet had been decimated, and victory had been won for the Holy League. The head of the admiral of the Ottoman imperial fleet was displayed on the mast of one of the ships. The Pope was given a grace of knowledge from heaven of victory, stopped what he was doing, and announced that the Holy League had been given the victory, and declared the day, October 7th, to be the feast of Our Lady of Victory, given credit to the victory to Our Lady's intercession through the Rosary. It is now called the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. There has not been a Muslim navy since. This is one of the most important and decisive battles in not just the history of Europe, but Western history. Had the Muslims won the battle, which they should have, they would have conquered Rome and from there conquered all of Western Europe. The United States probably wouldn't even exist. Yet we don't hear about this. Our history classes don't teach this. At least I was never taught about it. I didn't know this until not only after I became Catholic, but after I became a traditional Catholic, because the Catholic Church doesn't even talk about this anymore. They changed the name of the feast from Our Lady of Victory to Our Lady of the Rosary, because they didn't want to offend the Muslims. And of course, we know why the church in the world is trying to downplay and alter the history of this battle, or have it be forgotten altogether. If you don't know, let me enlighten you, because the church and the world has been taken over by the communists and Freemasons, and they don't want people to know the power of the rosary, because it will be their defeat, and they know it. You might say, but the Catholic Church calls October 7th the Feast of the Rosary. That doesn't sound like they're dissuading people from praying the rosary. Yes, this is true, and of course, this is the Catholic Church. It's not going to come out and be overtly anti-rosary. But if they had kept the name Our Lady of Victory, well then they have some explaining to do. Why is it called Our Lady of Victory? If they had to explain that, then Catholics would realize the power of the rosary. That's what they don't want. They want to downplay it. And this is not the only time in history that Our Lady has intervened when asked and given military victories against impossible odds. I have a video on my YouTube and Bishop channels titled Our Lady Gives Military Victories When Asked. And one example in that video is the fact that Austria, after World War II, was divided among the Allies. In the Soviet portion, a Rosary Crusade was started, and by 1955, about 10% of the population was publicly committed to praying the Rosary every day for the Soviets to leave. That same year, the Soviets did leave without firing a shot. They just left, which is the only case in Soviet history where they voluntarily left without a fight and then Austria was united and became its own independent country. So if you're not praying the rosary every day, start praying the rosary every day, even if you're not Catholic. You don't have to be Catholic to pray the rosary, 
but when people in mass pray the rosary, astonishing things happen. In all of Our Lady's apparitions over the last several centuries, where she has warned of the great chastisement and punishments coming from God because of how sinful the world has gotten, she has said pray the rosary to avoid it. We may now be in a position where it can't be completely avoided, but it can be mitigated, and you yourself and your family can be spared the effects of the chastisement by praying the rosary. If you've been a longtime listener of my channel, I know I'm probably starting to sound like a broken record, but I get new subscribers all the time and the newer videos do better than the older ones do. And I just want to drive the point home to pray the rosary. It will do miracles in the world and it will defeat the enemies of God and the church. Until my next video, God bless.